guys, Aussie FIFA HD, and welcome back to yet another episode of my skill move tutorial series where I show you how, where, and when to perform a skill move in FIFA 21. We're learning the directional nutmeg. This is a very overpowered skill move, and I can't believe it's taken me this long to upload a tutorial for you of this skill move because it's a very overpowered skill move. You can use it anywhere. And my god, is it effective in FIFA 21. So without further ado, let's get into the intro. And then I'm going to teach you guys the directional nutmeg in FIFA 21. Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive. Ronaldo on the ball. He's made himself just the control. tiniest the bit of control space. display there is absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about Aussie FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers into how you perform the directional nutmeg in FIFA 21. This is quite simple compared to other skill moves. All you're going to need to do is hold down the R1 and the L1 buttons on the PS4 and then use the right analog stick to flick in the direction that you want to do the directional nutmeg in. Now you can do the directional nutmeg at a 360 degree angle. You can literally choose any direction you want to do and the player will do obviously the directional nutmeg whether it's the flick behind, flick in front, the speed boost out in front which is as you will see the most overpowered way of using this skill move but really it's simple. All you need to do is hold down the, both the R1 and L1 button and then you need to obviously flick with the right analog stick in the direction that you want to go. But let me tell you, this is a skill move that you should definitely implement and I'm going to teach you guys where and when to perform this skill move in FIFA 21. Moving into where you need to perform the directional nutmeg in FIFA 21, basically anywhere. It's one of those skill moves that you can use anywhere on the pitch and yeah, basically uh, I would recommend using this in the midfield, out in the wing, in the bots, just outside the 18 yard bots, really anywhere you find it to be useful. Now in my opinion, the best, uh, obviously, uh, you know, variation of the directional nutmeg is the speed boost out in the front and it's that diagonal angle, it's the, you know, the flick to the, um, around that, uh, you know, 65 degree angle area um, or 275 degree angle area it's basically in the in the in the you know in the diagonal direction I find this is the best uh, variation to use and so I usually use it anywhere where I can try and get into the space and burst off but I won't go too much into that I'll keep it for the next segment of when you need to use the directional nutmeg in FIFA 21 to when you should use the directional nutmeg in FIFA 21. Now, this is why it's one of the best skill moves, because essentially it's a skill move you can use most of the time, and it's really, uh, the best time you should use it is when you want to burst off into some space, um, but you can also use it to change direction. Uh, you can use the dire dire directional nutmeg to um, obviously nutmeg the opponent as well. It's actually a skill move which does nutmeg opponents in FIFA 21 and because of how overpowered it is, it seems to work, um, which is the best thing. But in terms of the time, usually it's when, you know, there's a little bit of space in between the defenders and you want to burst off into that space. Now, it's actually very hard to read and when you use the directional nutmeg, it's instant and essentially you're able to quickly burst off into that direction. If you do it the opposite direction, obviously the player will do a turn and he'll flick the ball behind him and then run onto it. Now, this isn't as, you know, it's I found it's not the best variation to use of the directional nutmeg, but in terms of actually using that uh, variation, you can use it. And what I recommend is using it inside the box when you're facing the opposite direction. So you can do a quick turn and get a shot off. And as you've seen here, this is actually quite a useful uh, variation of the directional nutmeg in going backwards because you're able to turn direction straight away and it's unreadable. It's very hard to read and essentially it's hard to obviously tackle. 
Um, but again, I will stress the best uh, sort of time to use it is when you want to burst off into some space and get past the defense because you can use it as sort of like a speed boost and uh, that's what I have found is the most useful with the directional nutmeg. You've seen here, you can store plenty of goals with it and uh, for me, it's one of the most overpowered skill moves in the game at this current point in time. EA patched the Elastico, they pretty much patched the, uh, you know, the, um, the, I can't even think of the bridge skill, okay, um, but essentially, at the moment, the best skill move for me in the game is the directional nutmeg, and I really do apologise for not getting the tutorial up for you guys to start using it, but now you know, and uh, hopefully this was an interesting and useful video for you guys, but that will see you at the end of the episode, hope you guys enjoyed it, smash a like, Drop a sub, and I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for 12,000 subscribers. Your support has been out of this world, lads. <laughs> I mean, I really appreciate it. Drop a like on the video, sub to the channel, follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. But as always, I'm out. I hope you guys have a good day. Sayonara, au revoir, and goodbye.